This is my 2017 Santa Cruz 5010, otherwise known as the Solo. It's the single C version of the carbon, so the cheaper of the two carbon models. This bike weighs 30.6 pounds with the pedals, and I raced it last season in four races, and this season I'm looking to reduce the weight on it. But as you'll see in a minute, uh, it might be worth it just to put that money towards a race bike instead of dropping a lot of money on this bike to reduce the weight. Some of the parts that I was looking to swap out to reduce weight were the handlebars, um, they're alloy right now, I wanted to make them carbon, really switching all these to carbon. The stem, which I'm going to shorten anyways, the seat post and saddle, the pedals and cranks, um, the wheels, and going to tubeless. Um, I wanted to switch out all those components and see how much weight I could save by going to basically all carbon and all race components. And for about $972, this is all new components, I could reduce the weight by 2.6 pounds, which really isn't that much. So it would take the weight down to about 28 pounds. <laughs> the greatest weight savings ended up being switching to tubeless tires. I uh, would save, I think, 460 grams by removing the tubes. And then in the pedals, if I went to the XTR race pedals, I'd save almost half a pound. So between just those two changes, that would be about 1.5 pounds. And that's comparing it to 2.6 pounds savings if I replaced all of the components. So for just, I think, I think the XTR pedals are about $100. I could spend $100 and switch back to tubeless and save about 1.5 pounds. Comparing that to spending $972 to swap out all these static components to carbon pieces, the obvious choice is just to get rid of the tubes and change the pedals out. Um, so one of the things that my engineer friend likes to point out is that your greatest weight savings on a bicycle is in the centrifugal force areas so that would be the things that you're you're turning and moving forward so your pedal movement turns the wheels so you have to turn all of the weight in the wheels and move it forward so in reducing the weight of the wheels or the crank or the pedals you're going to reduce the burden on your legs of turning that wheel and moving it so ultimately I'm gonna take the tubes out of these. They're, they were already set up tubeless, but I was having some issues with it. And I'm going to switch to the XTRs on these pedals. And for a total of $100, I'll reduce the weight, like I said, about 1.5 pounds. And I'll save about $880, which I could put towards a race bike if I really want something that is lighter weight for the XC races in this area. So, um, when you're looking to reduce weight on your mountain bike, really, these static parts, the seat post, the handle, the stem, um, the cranks, or not the cranks actually, the seat post, the stem, the handlebars, um, anything that's basically stationary, the saddle, you're going to uh, pay a lot of money to reduce the weight there, and you'll have relatively small gains, and in the end, the best thing you can do is go tubeless, perhaps get carbon wheels. You can find some good used ones on classified ads. And then reduce any weight that you can in the crank area, which would include your shoes, the pedals, the crank arms, and the chain ring.